Hi back and hi everyone welcome back to my channel once again for the hundred times hold on this is a important moment yes. oops so much <laughs> hi. Hi. anyways <laughs> well i'm back again and this time hopefully forever of course not forever but i really want you to um notice the difference because our lives have changed so much since we moved we moved from california i forgot to say it we moved to south carolina and we love it here Ooh, for some reason i'm also kind of nervous because i haven't been speaking with my audience this channel audience for ages it's been almost a year um, since we uploaded our last video anyways i want to give you a quick tour of the house if you don't mind that's our dog alma she wants she's in love with our kitten varus and she wants him to come down stop, stop, so they can play anyways let me show you very quickly where should we start kitchen of course kitchen remember this is a cooking channel and i'm doing some of uh, my maybe old recipes i decided to start with recipes maybe some formal cooking videos some casual family uh, dinner whatever happens uh, and we'll see which one like um, clicks with my audience i'm so nervous for some reason but that's okay i'll get used to okay so this is our new kitchen which is a little bit smaller from my last kitchen my old kitchen that one was actually very long and this one is kind of more round and more to me it's much much cozier because we can all kind of gather around the table island kitchen island we ended up um, changing it because it was too small it had this uh, sink for some reason and we already have a sink faucet so we didn't need an extra faucet over here we removed it, we changed the chandeliers, the handles. We didn't do much because the house was ready to move in. Uh, so yeah, this will be our dining area. I tried keeping everything in very kind of soft tones, like white, light gray, beige, but then I kind of started missing a brightness, a color. So we went with teal color which is probably a good idea with gray and this will be our just hangout area just doing nothing area this will be our coffee morning coffee or evening tea area and for him it's like his own area um, well let's go oh let me show you okay let me show you this uh, the house is how many floors I should say two floors but downstairs the down floor they made it into an entire uh, separate full kitchen uh, I mean it's a full uh, room full room full floor um, boys my younger ones decided to be downstairs uh, older ones went upstairs three bedrooms are upstairs it's kids uh, private area <laughs> private area <laughs> private space <laughs> they don't want to show it this was supposed to be formal dining room but since we don't um, do anything formal we decided to make it into like not formal not dining um, just an area we sit we love this room too because it's very cozy very bright and just a nice looking room I think and we bought TV a month ago almost a month ago we, we didn't plan to put any tv in this floor because tv we don't use it we don't watch it uh, we don't need to watch tv but then uh, since every year it's like a tradition we do a uh, ball drop like the new year thing we, uh, we watch it we count it and then this year we thought what we're gonna do <laughs> probably the new year will not come for us so we bought a tv to celebrate the new years um, but we don't regret it because we watch tv we watch some 
I don't know, Netflix or whatever uh, series. Once in a while, we're not TV people. This is for this season. I think this is seasonal favorite area because it has a fireplace. I don't think in summertime we'll be sitting and looking at the fireplace. But now we woke up, uh, we wake up, I mean, and start the fire. And then evening time we start the fire again and it's so nice family time or just me and my husband romantic time uh, we love it here we have second floor for kids uh, all their kids rooms and what else do we have let me show you since we're here oh we have a office space just a quick peek this will be our office Lily it works here she just can we don't have a hanger in this room this is my husband's working area. Working area. This is Lilith's. So that's that. Let me show you my working area. This is my working area. Usually I do. <laughs> it's a laundry room. <laughs> and also the kittens. At night time they, they sleep here. They have their beds here. So they don't go around the house or do bad stuff. So that's why this is also cats and they, they eat here. It's a restaurant for our uh, zoo. And we have a garage. It's not in its best uh, organized condition. It's a three car garage. It's really big. The house itself is over 4,000 square feet. I don't know for sure. The property is five acres. I'll show you, we have our own forest, pond, little river, Inori River, a part of that river. So yeah, this is our uh, garage. Very nice area to run around. <laughs> we should move the kids here. Okay. We have a guest bathroom here. It's a full bath actually. It's bathroom and shower. There is Simple, everything is in simple style, nothing extra, nothing extraordinary, which is uh, country style or farmhouse style, I should say, however you want to call it. Let's go. <laughs> We're saving the energy. Last month, we paid $600 for electricity bill. It never has happened. Usually it's 200, 200 something. So yeah, and I started saving energy. This door leads to man cave. Boys call it man cave because they think it's cool. So this is the play area, right Becky boy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is their play area. We have another fireplace. By the way, both fireplaces are with natural wood. Yeah, wood burning. Wood burning fireplace? Whatever you call it, I don't know those names. But yeah, this is a full kitchen. We recently bought a freezer because here, some, some of the stores are kind of far from our home, like 25 minutes. 30 minutes so when we go for shopping we usually buy more than usual so we don't have to go there uh, very often I, at first to be honest I was thinking why would they add another kitchen who needs two kitchen two kitchens in one house but then we ended up using it more than I expected anyways we happy we have two kitchens and two uh, air fryers well, this one, I will, uh, for some reason, I thought oh, I'm gonna need my air fryer, old one, uh, and brought it from California. And then, of course, you never barely use things. You move from your with your old house, from your old house. So that's why um, I would always advise anyone moving, don't take your old stuff. You will end up getting new ones. Uh, this one now is very bad looking it got a dent during shipping and then uh, it has this strange sound but it's still working i can't just get rid of it so it 
it will stay for a while. Here, we have lots of uh, secret rooms. It's not secret, secret. Okay, this is boys' uh, bathroom. Okay. okay, yes. Full bath, simple, it's very similar to the other one. Nothing like special. Okay, and this room, I'm planning on making my massage room. I already have the table. Most importantly, I have the massage table. We have the couch. So when time comes, I, I'm almost ready. I'll, I'll add probably a few things, but this is empty for now. And this used to be sauna, but it got destroyed and it got turned into empty space. Kittens used to live here, but up until now, once in a while, they would come downstairs. So we always have fresh water, uh, their pillow, and litter box, of course, and some toys. So, but very rarely they come here. But we just want to be uh, always ready for them, because they are kindly allowed us to live in their house. We have another uh, secret room. This is a closet, a lot of small uh, mini closets, a lot of unknown spaces. We have all our luggages and extra bags here. It's a long corridor. And then we have, just in case something happens, we have a bunker room. Oh, my kids' books. It's not the best place for them, but we don't have any other I think it's very nice bookshelf, but when you open it, it's very nice room, I think. Yeah, we have this security camera thing here, security TV or set, uh, system. And a lot of things, a lot of boxes. But I managed to organize everything, it's just a few things that got um, again, I regret bringing a lot of things from old house. Just more soup. It's cold. My children don't have any feelings of weather. They don't feel cold. They don't feel hot. You would, it's really cold. We have, um, what's the temperature? It's minus eight um, Celsius. Hold on. I'll check right now. Hold on. For us, it's cold because we're from California. We're used to uh, summer year-round. Oh, where's your thing? The weather, okay, it's here. Mm -hmm. It's 47 now, right now. It's gonna be, oops. <laughs> you got scared probably from the cold weather. And nighttime, it's 21, 24, 17, 15 on Sunday. Can you believe it? It's night time, 15 Fahrenheit. Anyways, we're strong people, we'll survive. Very small, but for boys, it's perfect bedrooms. All they do here, it's their closet. Small closet, small room. All they do here is sleep and do homework. They don't do much by themselves. I mean, on their own. They go play together or come upstairs, play with us. That's Beck's room, this is Arka's room. And they love it. We tried convincing him to go like upstairs, but they don't want to leave their main cave. So this is basically it. And um, I want to show you outside. I'll go grab a jacket. I'm not like my children. I'll get frozen and just stay there. Okay, I'll go wear my jacket and a very quick tour uh, of our property. This is our front yard. Oh, let, let's show the balcony. We love it here in summertime. Love it here. It's a pretty, pretty long one. The good part, you don't see anybody. It's like very, we like it that way. Private, very quiet. 
neighbors are amazing we got very lucky you can barely see neighbors houses but since now it's winter time all the trees are kind of naked so we finally saw our neighbor's house okay let's go oh oh shot is this is a very i think very nicely designed driveway and this interesting and kind of magical thing the other night my husband took a photo this palmetto tree and uh, newborn almost moon it's uh, south carolina's flag it's on the flag i mean palmetto with moon it was so interesting the exact way aram you have the photo he'll probably place the photo anyways it was very interesting you see that one oh, why is it always open oh uh, arnak was uh, what was he doing? Cutting firewood. Well, our lifestyle changed like upside down. <laughs> it's so nice. Countryside love a lifestyle is like ours. We feel very nice here. So this is our, I, I should say, garage for all kinds of tools and stuff. We had no idea how you mow your lawn or cut your grass or do all those things in california we have had a gardener who would do that for us here five acres we couldn't even find anybody to be honest we called a couple of places they never called us back anyways so my husband decided to uh, to buy his own lawn mower and do his thing and he loves it it was one of his dreams to have his cigar his hat, baseball hat, and more on the lawn. So dreams come true eventually. Yeah, this is that. And all kinds of saw and cutting machines. For now, we're good, I think. Okay, we're gonna close this. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the backyard. Also our favorite place. If you're asking how much is the house, well, in California, our home was um, we sold it for million fifty, and we bought this one for million hundred something. Uh, million hundred something, like it's <laughs> something. Anyway, um, but comparing the properties, we had eighteen hundred over there, and overall lot seven thousand something. And here, I already said it's it's pretty big. I don't know if we managed to look around all the property. This is a very nice area. Kids like it. We have like fire, roasting marshmallows, doing fun stuff. We have lots of plants, but for now we're just chilling, just waiting for the right season to come, right time. Look how beautiful. So sunsets here are magical every day different sunset and you get to see it through your window it's like I don't know it's a dream come true the pool doesn't look very clean now because you know the pool in the forest in the middle of forest that's how it usually looks but my, uh, my son actually cleans it he does all the work but wind blows and all those uh, dried leaves you know already so summertime it's so much cleaner uh, let's go to the forest part so nice I love this um, stairs There are no mushrooms. Oh, and also we have tons of different kinds of mushrooms. For some reason, I think these are not poisonous. I don't know if you understand anything. Uh, but we have so much. Oh, look at this. 
Oh my god! I wish I knew these are edible or not because there are plenty. Look. Okay, we're not gonna risk it. I'll do this and then spread out so they grow more. And I'll remember not to touch my eyes or face. Maybe they're poisonous. So far, so good. I've picked up a lot of mushrooms and nothing has happened ever. We need to do a lot of cleanup since we already are able to see what's happening in the forest. Summertime, it's all green, it's all kind of covered, you don't see anything. Now you see there are a lot of um, thorn, like those thorn bushes. You want to get rid of them because they're not, they're not cool. And they won't let you walk in the forest. I, I want to be able to go around, walk around. Oh my god, it got frozen, Adam. <laughs> the pond, we have one and a half pumps. We're sharing one of the pumps with our neighbor. Um, it's not like we're sharing. We don't... <laughs> it's like very great community. Everyone is like friends, so there is no, it's my pond or your pond. Anyways, it's frozen. Oh, and then it got bigger. Wow, because I didn't come out uh, in this cold, frosty weather, so I haven't seen it. Uh, there is much more ice over there. Alma, she used to <laughs> go into pond and like swim around. Now she knows she can't. It's too cold. Alma, no. She's drinking. Hey, no. Alma, no. It's not good for her to drink pond water. No, goodness. We love her too much. Oh, sometimes when it rains a lot, the ponds uh, come closer and they become one huge pond. Let me show you. Um, is it safe? We're not going to drown. <laughs> Actually, uh, we have three ponds. <laughs> this one also. A few days or weeks ago, I don't remember when it rains heavy. This one is also a pond. But we can't have fish because summertime when it's uh, not raining, it gets kind of low. So I don't think it's a good idea. But we found, you tell me, Aram, Terian won't say. Turtle! We find turtle in the pond. So I believe there are some pond uh, creatures. So nice. I haven't been here since the winter started. Because I don't like cold. But the air is so much crisper. We'll go this way. And then we'll come back. Uh, I want to show you the river. Is it frozen too? I don't think no. so. But there is a fish in the river. But my husband is not a big fishing guy. <laughs> a fisherman. He doesn't have that much patience. Mm, so nice. mm. Let me show you our beach. <laughs> our beach area. Oh, we have so much firewood and we went ahead and purchased a lot of firewood because we are city people anyways when it rains heavily the river comes out of his, um, his comfort zone and ends up pouring a lot of sand in here Alma loves running on the sand look at this you can bring your lounge or... Uh, oh no no no, her is gush. She felt it dangerous. Hey! Is it okay for her to eat, eat sand? I don't think so. Alma! Oh, Alma, tapi! No! She tried eating some. Anyways, you can bring your chair. You can even... You don't have to bring the chair. You can just lay down on this sand and uh, get sun tan. It's a small part. Like narrow but it's a big river I think it's just a part of that like I don't know I haven't seen the entire river it's so nice and I use this uh, sand for my plants okay. this is 
so nice. I haven't seen it this way. After the rain. See how quiet? Nice. This is like a resort. Fall season, it's magical, so beautiful. I hope I'll get a chance to show you. I hope this time around I'm not gonna stop. Well, a lot of things happened, a lot of things changed. We've been going through different like steps when we're planning uh, moving. So, but now I'm so happy, so relaxed, relieved. So I hope I'll continue. all these thorns sometimes they can just grab you <laughs> kids like because we walk a lot in the forest in summer evenings or uh, fall early fall or fall season in general when it's nice weather we like walking and kids like going through uh, like trees and like walking around doing fun adventurous things and then get, they get stuck thorns hold them <laughs> And then I have to go and release them, save them, I mean. Aram, so much things have changed. I haven't even seen these stones, Aram, since when car. We didn't have these stones, did we? Hmm. It's, it's after the rain, probably. That's what happens. We're getting used to because it, it's been almost five months or six months we're here we were here in july 25th so you count it's like it's been forever but it's only a few months but i think i managed we managed to settle the way like it looks but that's our other cat ishan mr ishan i mean he's the king of the woods anyway i think we managed to settle like fully and completely it's like we've been here for a few years now i do have that feeling what is that aram i want to see what's this we like finding different things oh it was nothing actually <laughs> i thought it's an interesting mushroom um yeah this is really nice oh so much different every time you come down to the forest every time it's different something has changed something went this way that way look at those stairs Almaz Gush Alma Ari Ishan is more like a dog than cat he would walk with us like a average <laughs> dog <laughs> and she's so happy when we're in forest walking she's like it's it's her own um, space she feels great back in los angeles we had to almost pull her out of house with leash she didn't like going out from house she didn't like walking, we had to make her walk. Easy boy! But here she would like cry for going out and she would run like crazy. Also, we have a lot of deers here. They would just come walk around with their babies. So nice. This part may look a little messy but um, so we didn't have a road to uh, for a tractor or for our lawn machine because my husband needs to come to this part and mow the other part of our lawn <laughs> we have so much grass to mow <laughs> so we didn't have that road and um, i mean we ha there is a road that but it comes from other neighbors uh, property which they don't mind we drive uh, on their property but since my husband likes having everything like on his own anyways he, we needed a road and our neighbor Eric uh, he owns a 
three servicing company 25 years old he he's, he knows the business for a while so he kindly offered us he's like i'm gonna open you the road see the uh, before we had kind of uh, closed full of trees and everything so he cleaned up and opened up the road for us very nicely um, very kindly so we're very thankful we're happy people we're lucky people to have great neighbors if you live in south carolina or north carolina and need any tree service i'll leave our neighbors uh, phone number our neighbor's phone number and you call him they'll come and take care of everything they do trimming removing planting everything that has to do with trees they do it professionally like 100 percent that's that we can go upstairs huh Aram? upstairs what is this so many interesting trees hmm. it's an old tree Oh, it's so open now while I'm here. He's hot. He's such a polite boy. He went, did his party uh, business and nicely covered it. <laughs> but the kittens, since they are young, I don't want them to go out. I'm scared because when we moved, I don't know if you've been watching, following my other channel, my Russian channel. Um, we had another cat we had two cats when we moved uh, one got lost and a lot of people say oh she went to california to the old house but i don't know we're now scared we don't want to let them outside but ishan he's the king everyone is scared of him oh look how interesting look at this tree a lot of footsteps from deers Hey, Aram, how do we go this way? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where to go. I, I don't want to get lost. I'll show you another area which we decided to make into a food tree orchard, if I can say that. But now I'm considering changing <laughs> from this place to the other place. We planted a couple of trees in fall, I think, season. You can see the trees because they are almost invisible. Oh, where are the trees? Where are the trees? Okay, see. This is the tree. Pomegranate. I don't know. I really want to remove them from here because when my husband... Alma! She, I don't know. She's fighting someone. A wolf maybe or a coyote. Um, anyways, he's passing through this road. So having trees here it's not the best idea so yeah alma motas oh let me show you this area looks very nice i don't know if it was a good idea or whatever idea and we planted two cherry trees in this um, in this stage i call it a stage and we planted three Fig trees, small trees, that's why you can't see them. <laughs> they disappeared. And this is our uh, pool house, pool, uh, how you call it? The motor house, engine. So it's covered, I mean, it's built with concrete. Everything in this house is built with concrete. Nothing you can change or you can remove easily. It's all concrete. So. That's a good idea because you can't hear any noise from that engine working. It's gone. Yeah, I guess that's it, huh, Adam? I think we showed everything. Okay, let's go this way. I have a little teeny mini garden. I can't wait until spring season so I can start gardening because I'm a great gardener. You should, you learn. Oh my. oh my garlic is crying you know why because it's been raining so heavily and I have doubts this will uh, survive because they get rotten because it's in a pot and when it's raining heavy 
they don't like it that moist but this see i planted these ones in a bed so they doing good even this one this i planted earlier than this so yeah that's a nice area too i'm thinking i'm just thinking hopefully i'm not gonna do it to get some chickens because imagine that our neighbor has a rooster uh, and that rooster sound makes me so relaxed so so happy so i want to have at least chickens they'll have the rooster because it's good when the rooster sound is far <laughs> not <laughs> directly uh, under your ear but chickens if around uh, look this is a very nice area small coop five six seven eight nine chickens not many and a small garden garden uh, gardening or gardening garden area for me to go feed the chickens do some gardening you know like feel like real uh, country woman and i also planted some garlic here look that's not a good idea probably here in pots it's not a good idea and potatoes i don't think they'll survive but I had that urge to garden, so I couldn't stop myself. This is our two um, conditioning thing, conditioner, oh, conditioners. We ended up settle, setting, what do you call this thing around? Generator. Generator, and then gas tank, we have it over there. Because they say, it didn't happen yet. Uh, but they say once in a while the electricity may go out and hopefully hopefully it won't happen but we're good we're safe yeah this this whole area needs to be mown can you imagine our uh, that turquoise or teal pole is our uh, borderline with the other neighbor so yeah i think that's it we showed everything huh yeah we showed everything and hopefully you enjoyed it you got to feel the peaceful and relaxing mood i hope you felt it i mean i think that's it i'll be happy to hear your comments your thoughts and i'm so happy to be back i hope i'll see you more often Bye now.